across a world where all men grieve, and grieving strive the more. Great days range like tides and leave our dead on every shore. Heavy the load we undergo, and our own hands prepare. If we have parley with the foe, the load our sons must bear. Before we loose the word that bids new worlds to birth, needs must we loosen first the sword of justice upon earth. Or else, all else is vain, since life on earth began, and the spent world sinks back again, hopeless of God and man, a people and their king, through ancient sin grown strong, because they feared no reckoning, would set no bound to wrong. But now their hour is past, and we who bore it find evil incarnate held at last to answer to mankind for agony and spoil of nations beat to dust for poisoned air and tortured soil and cold commanded lust and every secret woe the shuddering waters saw willed and fulfilled by high and low let them relearn the law that when the dooms are read, not high nor low shall say, My haughty or my humble head has saved me in this day, that till the end of time their remnant shall recall their father's old confederate crime availed them not at all, that neither schools nor priest nor kings may build again a people with the heart of beast made wise concerning men whereby our dead shall sleep in honor unbetrayed, and we in faith and honor keep that peace for which they paid.